Now try to remember what the coefficients beta 1, beta 2 and beta 3 in the following equation say. Um, well, they say if you increase x1 for example by one unit, y hat also increases or decreases by beta 1 units. The same goes for x2 and x3. Um, and, and again, beta is just a variable so it depends on the output r gives to you. But there's still more of these coefficients say because you included two other variables besides x1. So you all you have three independent variables. You have x2, x3, and x1 because you include you have three variables. Um, it says that if you increase x1 by one unit while x2 and x3 stay the same, y hat increases or decreases by beta beta one. Um, this is what we call controlling for other variables. And this is an extremely important concept because omitting a variable can cause serious harm. But more on that in another video. So there's also another equation right here. Um, y is equal to alpha plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus beta 3 times x3 plus epsilon. Okay, now spot the difference. Well, first of all, there is no hat on y, so the hat is missing. Why is that? Um, y, so y without a hat means that we're no longer modeling the point estimate of y. We are giving the uh, act, uh, a formula that actually explains y completely. Um, sounds pretty ambitious, but actually it isn't. As you might see, there's also another term in our on our equation. This over here, epsilon. Um, epsilon represents the error term. And this becomes pretty clear if you think about um, what the equation says. So think of an example. So let's draw a scatter plot. Think of an example. So we, as always, this time we only have one independent variable x and one dependent variable. So we only have, so we only have x1, okay? So you have your observations. And you have your regression equation. Might look something like this. Okay, now um, we can find both y and y hat in this scatter plot. So y hat is equal to the regression line. This right here, or well, let me do that in red, this is equal to y hat. Now, what could y be? You know that y is not equal to y hat. So we know y is not equal to y hat because epsilon in y is missing in y hat. So this is something different. So y is not equal to y hat. Now take a single point in this example. So let me get another color. Let's take, um, I don't know. Yeah, let's take this point for example. Okay, let's take this point as an example. For a given x value, so we have a given x value that would be right over here. We have a given x value and we also need a y value for this. So we also need a y value for this. Um, the actual value is equal to the regression equation. So the regression equation, remember, is y hat. Yeah the regression equation. So this is equal to y hat plus, and this is now the very important aspect, plus all other determining factors left in left out uh, of the regression equation. And that is equal to epsilon. So the actual value is our regression line plus all the other determining factors left out. And this is all clear because statistical modeling is all about simplification of the real world. Our model is never able to explain everything. So our model is this line over here. And this is not able to explain everything. It's just a simplification of the real world. Um, so think of the error term epsilon as the deviation away from the regression model. And of course our goal is, so our actual goal is to minimize. So we want to minimize the, um, we want to minimize the sum of epsilon. So we want to minimize the sum of epsilon. So how hope you can distinguish it. This is the sum sign and this is epsilon. We want to minimize the error or let me, yeah, right. Let me do it like this. We want to minimize the sum of the errors. Okay, so um, now why do I talk about this? 
This little epsilon over here, this epsilon over here, this is very important because there are some requirements on how epsilon, epsilon must look like. So this is why this concept is important. Now, remember, our model is just a simplification of the real world. Um, the simplification is equal to y hat and the real value, the, the actual world is equal to our simplification plus all other factors left out in our simplification that could explain the real world.